Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. It is uh, Tuesday, February the 6th, 2018. Yeah, I still have my Christmas uh, tablecloth up. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. I just get too busy and I uh, forget to remove it and put something else here. I'm going to have to before long. But anyway, I went in a haul video yesterday and I'm not showing you everything I got. I'm just showing you some of the interesting items that I got. Um, I like to go on Mondays because they have some discounts in my area and one of the thrift stores I go to have a tag sale. One tag is 75% off, another one is 50% off, and uh, another one is 25% off and I try to take advantage of that. So, got some pretty cool stuff. This is a combination of what I got there and what I got at Salvation Army when they had their tag sale and I'll show you what I got. Some pretty cool stuff. Uh, yesterday, I kind of rounded up my um, uh, search at the Goodwill closest to my home and uh, found these pillows. And they're really cool. I mean, they're really top quality, uh, a really heavy duty, maybe a cotton polyester or something. But uh, they had them priced at three. They weren't on sale, and uh, or this one didn't have a price at all. This one just says, okay, just basically has a tag of when it was disinfected, you know, whatever that means. They don't smell like thrift store. So I said, are both of them $3? They said, yeah. So basically, it's that's what it looks like as a really cool um, leopard. And I'm a cat person, so I think um, I, this would sell really nice to a cat person. I have no idea what they're worth. Got to look them up. But sometimes when you find interesting things out there, you pick them up. Um, sometimes I pick things up if I don't know that much about them. But anyway, so that's that. The next item is a shirt that was on sale at my Salvation Army. It's, uh, it's really kind of nifty. It's got, uh, it says, T made by Team Disney, 1996. Uh, made in China, but still 1996. And it's red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. And Mickey seem to be really good sellers on eBay. I paid, I think, a couple of bucks for this. And you see Mickey here on the left chest area with these hoops. That's the, looks like he's doing rhythmic gymnastics. That's what they usually have the floor exercises after the main gymnastics for the ladies has concluded. But, um, yeah, they had the Atlantic, Atlanta uh, Summer Games in 1996, so I think this is probably what this commemorates. But it is a great shape shirt. Not sure what I'm going to uh, ask for. It's very unusual. But things like this actually do pretty well on eBay if, if eBay isn't flooded with them. And on the sleeve, it's got, uh, it looks like Team Disney 1996. So I picked that up just because it was different. And uh, I love this vintage stuff. Another thing I picked up, it's not so vintage, but um, a Cleveland Indians t-shirt. They won the Central Division uh, Championship in 2016 and 2017, and my hubby likes these, so if I don't sell it, he can wear it. Let's see what size is it. Uh, I think it is a large, yeah, it's a large. Yeah, but this, um, I think I threw it in the washer. Sometimes if they smell like thrift store, I throw it in the washer. Um, it won't command a whole lot of money, but... You know, I like to, that's one of my niche areas. I love the Cleveland Indians, and uh, uh, and they're, they're going to get rid of the Chief Wahoo, so I've been really selling some of those items. Um, but here, they might do something like this in the future with the feathers popping out. But that Wahoo design was actually um, done after a Cleveland Indians player that actually was a player, and he was a star player for them. I don't know what the guy's name was, but it was in 1947, and that's how the Cleveland Indians got their name has nothing to do with, um, you know, poking fun at a race of people or anything like that. It's crazy, but they were told to get rid of the logo, so logo is going to go bye-bye. You won't see it on uniforms anymore as of 2019. So I try to pick up, you know, Chief Wahoo things whenever I can, but obviously this isn't one of those. But uh, at any rate, let's move on. I always look at the, you know, look for the ties, and this one thrift store, 
Um, found a tie here, and this one I paid $1.99. It wasn't on sale, and uh, it should do okay. It is a Burt Pulitzer, which is a collector's, collector's edition, made in the USA. When you see made in the USA, you know it's vintage. This is a silk tie, so it should do all right. Not one of the top brands, but you know I like to pick up something that has an interesting design, and that definitely has an interesting design. Then this one here doesn't look like anything really special, but uh, it was only 99 cents, so I figured why not. I uh, turned it over. As it turns out, it's like one of the top sought-after ties, uh, Vineyard Vines, with tags. So, from Martha's Vineyard. And it has, I guess this is the uh, logo for a company, so I don't know how it's going to do. A lot of these vineyard vines has animals on them and things. But I think this company might be out that way. So I don't know. It has tags on it. But I kind of thought it would be interesting to pick that up and and see how uh, that would do. Maybe somebody from the company would pick it up. Or somebody that has an E. Their name starts with an E or something like that. But for $0.99, cents, hey. You figure you can't go wrong. And then for 90 cents, I got this Maui light pink hat. Uh, new, just doesn't have tags, but it's new. It's never been worn. And uh, this should fetch 10, 15 bucks maybe on eBay. They're very easy to store, very easy to ship. So I like picking up caps. Now this one, guys, is really cool. Uh, I don't normally do the skull thing. You guys know that. They watch my channel. People make skulls on, you know, poor skulls on silver. I generally don't buy those things. But I found this hat. And it says Ed Hardy. It's Don Ed Hardy by Christian Odigier. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But it's got sequins and it's got, you know, it's really cool. And I think... The younger crowd would like this, and it's got different sequins on it. It's like new without tags. Looks like it's never been worn, and there is a label on it. And I picked that up for 90 cents, and that, I think, is going for around 20 or so on eBay. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then uh, got a, for 3 bucks. it was actually priced at 6 my goodwill is not cheap, but if I, you know, this was 50% off, so I picked it up for three bucks. Uh, this is when the Cleveland Cavaliers won the, um, you know, the finals. They won the championship. They beat the Sunshine, Sunshine, the Golden State Mint Warriors. <laughs> uh, I think the Sunshine Mint is out there. That's why I said that. But this is kind of a cool t-shirt. I don't know what it's, what it, what it's going to get. The, the, uh, Cavaliers aren't doing so hot right now, but this is the winning players on the uh, team at the time. The most famous, Ky Kyrie Irving, James, LeBron James, Kevin Love, and so on and so forth. And there's all the uh, players there. I kind of like that. I tried to get something like that after the Cleveland Indians won the uh, pennant in uh, 2016, and I couldn't get my hands on any of those. They sold out real fast. So I figured I'd pick this up and... Uh, See what happens. Got a Chico's size 1, which is kind of like a size 8 to 10, I think, normally, in women's. And it's a really cool sweater. And it's very small, but I normally wouldn't have gotten it, but it was 75% off. So for a little over a buck, you know, I should be able to get a few bucks for it. It's uh, in excellent shape. It's almost like it's never been worn. Very small. And then I have a larger women's plus size. They tend to do very well. I'm going to put the camera down. Uh, let me see here. Get that out. This is an older, reputable brand. An Alfred, Alfred Dunner. It's a 2X, so it's really, really large. But these types of uh, items do really well. It's got a cool design. It's got a cool neckline and some neat things. I just buy things that are unusual, that kind of jump off the shelf at you or jump off of the rack at you and uh hopefully that'll that'll sell um we'll find out and kind of clothing is kind of new i'm new to clothing but this was a respectable brand um i don't really get it anymore but we'll see it's vintage clothing 
but it was made in China, so it's not too old. And then, uh, let's see, the last piece of clothing that I scored on, I was looking through the men's sweaters, and here is a very nice 100% pure new wool sweater. Look at those buttons. Anytime you see something like this, you know it's quality. I was looking for some other things in the men's sweaters, and it is a Kerrig Dawn Made in Ireland and I looked it up on eBay and they're going for like in the 40s. And I paid two bucks for it. So yeah, I'll, I'll take that all day long. This is nice. I just have to measure it and photograph it and I'm ready to list it. Um, listing takes a while. Processing takes a while. Um, so that's why I, I wanted to get this done. Because once I process everything, I put it away and I don't really look at it again until it's sold. But one thing I found was this snow globe. And it's uh, San Francisco, done by the San Francisco Music Box Company. And that's a high-quality music box company. They, they're creme de la creme when it comes to music boxes. Some of you guys probably don't care, but there's some crazy money to be made in silver box or silver boxes, <laughs> music boxes. This one is a has a nice snow globe. You see the water is clear. There, are, there is no bubble. The water completely fills the globe. And San Francisco Music Box Company has a great reputation. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the uh, little handle at the bottom. You can hear it. It plays great. And then neat. I love it. going to sell it. Now, if it doesn't sell, I may give it to my kids because they took uh, one of their uh, trips there to San Francisco. Got the little row houses at the bottom there and plastic resin base. And you have the Golden Gate Bridge. You have the Coit Tower, I think it's called. Some row houses there. And, of course, Chinatown. So uh, I've been to San Francisco a couple of times. It is a cool city. I can tell you that. Anyway, the video is getting long enough. I just wanted to show you kind of the things I got. I get a wide variety of things. And sometimes if something just jumps off the uh, shelf or rack, I get it. And take my chances, and that's how you learn this business. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, give me a thumb up if you think this is interesting. And uh, go make it a great day.